Hello, Spiral Scout team is speaking. Today we want to present you the set of quick video tutorials around the Roadrunner, how to install it, configure it, uh, create your basic worker, uh, use custom plugins, uh, use embedded plugins, and so on. Before we're going to start, it is mandatory to understand the difference between Roadrunner and more classic application setups, let's say using Apache or Nginx plus PHP FPM. Before we're going to start, let's take a look at this quick diagram, which is going to describe how the application is being set up on the more classic installation. So, on a screen, you can see that typically clients send the request to Nginx, which forwards this request to one of the PHP FPM workers, which then communicates with your application via request and response objects, or SAPI objects. The main difference between Roadrunner and Nginx, or specifically PHP FPM, is that the worker which is executing the available payload for application would not be destroyed after the application done with request processing. This is going to provide you the very flexible access to number of features uh, such as uh, runtime cache or etc. And in addition to that, uh, it will obviously increase your performance, plus it will give you access to the internal RPC service of the Roadrunner, including various plugins, configurations, metrics, and so on. So, as you can see on this screen, the Roadrunner is not much different from PHP FPM. However, it does treat your workers a little bit differently, and specifically, it keeps them alive for much longer than FPM. In the next tutorials, we're going to take a look how you can quickly install Roadrunner without any framework, how you can configure a worker, and so on. Let's move on.